Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Magnus and today we will be talking about Cisco ACI multi-tier environment. So what you can do in ACI 4.1 is actually to do a multi-tier. So you still have your spine layer. Then you have your tier one layer. But you can add additional tier two layer. So what's the benefit of this? Well, if you have a lot of legacy equipment or if you have a lot of one gig equipment, then this is quite expensive to connect to the spine switches. So in this case, you can do more tier two leaf switches. And uh, Tier 2 leaf switches only need to be connected to Tier 1 leaf switches. So what is the user case for this multi-tier environment? Normally it has to do with cablings uh, or ports that you want to have 1 gig ports. But let's say for cabling purposes. So let's say you have two rooms in the data center. Room one, room two. There is a lot of designs you can do here now. Um, I, will, I will draw a few of them. So maybe you start off with building it in one site. Then you have your spine switches. And you have your leaf switches. And remember the rule, each leaf switch need to be connected to each spine switch. As you see, this takes quite a lot of cablings. So let's think if you want to add more leaf switches in another room. Well, there is a few options. Either you can build it as a new pod, a new site, or you can just extend the fabric. So for example, you can do, when you add your leaf switches here, you can take cabling back and forward between the rooms. Maybe have enough uh, cables between the rooms, That's no, then it's no problem. Or maybe you have a limited amount of cables, uh, patch panels. Or another option is maybe it's too long distance, so it's expensive to, to have cabling. Uh, because when it comes to 40 and 100 gigs, the SFPs cost quite a lot of money. So you really need to consider your cablings within your data centers as well. So option number one is to just connect each leaf switch as it has been before. I know it's, it's uh, very hard to see how many, uh, how many lines I did take, but each leaf switch has two connections. So that's two times four equals to eight. And if it's eight cables, you need 16 SFPs. So that's 16. SFP and I bet you it will be minimum multi-mode 100 meters. That's the, the shortest SFP that you can run. You will not be able to do twin axe cabling between different rooms. That's, that's not feasible. This is option number two then. So you still have your pod or your, your topology in room number one and you want to add more racks in number two. You can do spines and then leaves. This you can connect with uh, IPNs or DCI.
And if you connect it with DCI, you can do two or four cables. Let's do two because that's the minimum. So that will be two. Two cables and four SFPs. The problem with this one, you need additional boxes and the boxes cost money. This is a great design if you have two rooms. Then you have one pod per room, so it's, it's very simple, uh, a bit more expensive. This can be either pods or it can be multi-sites. The problem with multi-sites or benefit if you see it like this is that you need eight picks for each pod. So if you're running multi-site, you need three Apex here and three Apex here. So if, if you're running pods, you can have two Apex here and one Apex here. So this is option number three. So you still have your, your pod here in room number one and you want to add more racks in um, room number two. So what you can do then in ACI uh, version 4.1 is that you add two leaf switches or more if you want that and you connect these to the spines each spine is connected to each leaf switch and this one you need four cables so four cables or eight SFP but the difference here in ACI 4.1 is that you have the concept of tier 1 and tier 2 leaves. So everything above here would be tier 1. And here you have the, the spine. So what's the benefit of this then? Well, you can put two leaf switches as tier one and then you can connect leaf switches in this case tier two leaf switches to the tier one leaf switches so even if you populate more racks you only need four cables between the data centers and this one doesn't need to be the super duper uh, tier one switch you can use a normal 93 180 so it's 10 and 25 gig ports you can also use something similar as a spine switch like a 93 36 or 93 64 so you have 100 gigs in this data center as well here you have the benefit that you only need three Apex. So you can put two here and one here if you want. So multi-tier, it gives you the possibility to change your topology and your design based on your physical layout. So I think this is a, a great option if you have multiple rooms and you don't want to do different pods or different sites, you just want to stretch it, maybe have a lot of one gig equipment here, then this is an easy and cheap way to uh, connect it to the ACI fabric. So Thank you for watching. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, thumbs up. If you want to see more of this content, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or you want to see something else, please comment below and uh, I will make sure to respond on your questions and uh, maybe I will make a different video on what you want to see. Thank you. See you in the next one.